Hey everybody, Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper. Today I'm going to be talking about reflection in your planning system. So if you're new here, I like to talk about creative planning, bullet journaling, and some artistic things like brush calligraphy and alcohol ink so that we can kind of unlock who we are and create a system that is unique, yours, and useful. Today I'm talking about reflection and the different ways you can incorporate it into your life. I talk a lot about reflection because it is not just about the what of our planner systems, but the why. Because if we're just planning things in a notebook just to plan things um, without thinking about it or why we're doing it, then we're just kind of falling into these patterns. So how do we create opportunities in order to think more about what it is that we're doing and why we're doing it? So let's dive in and see what we can do. So maybe your kind of style is a planner that has a section dedicated to that reflection, whether that is the monthly in the passion planner or the weekly in the moxie life. You want one with a section that walks you through questions. That might be more of your style. What I like about some of this is that it could be really helpful for you if you're new to reflection, having questions that are set out and you can get in a little bit deeper with this kind of long form reflection. Maybe your style is a little bit separate than your regular planner. So this is something that I borrow from the idea of the artist way, morning pages. You start off your day with a couple of pages of just free writing and your girl does not have enough time to do that. So uh, somebody talked about, I think Cindy Llama Letters talked about doing a morning page or morning paragraph. And I've kind of taken that one step farther into non-commitment to doing a daily paragraph. So I got this horizontal planner in my cloth and paper sub box and wanted to repurpose it for this daily paragraph. And I added the, these tabs in here. Each layout looks like this where it's got the horizontal weekly across. But what I do is I use each of these for a journal entry. So in January, you can see that I just spend a couple minutes at the end of each night jotting down what some of the highlights of the day are. Maybe it's gratitude. Maybe it's a realization that I made that day. And then at the end of the month, I look through all of the entries and see if there's any patterns that I notice, see if there's any lessons I can learn from the things that I'm writing about. Sometimes I don't realize them until you can see it all in a whole big picture. And then I can make some adjustments if I want to in the upcoming month. Or perhaps you're something a little bit more casual with maybe one line a day. So in January or in my bullet journal, I have this one page for my mental ramblings. This is something I borrowed from Brian Hazard. And this is just one line of just a thought, a prevalent reflection or a thought that I had during that day. And then it's all on just one page. If that's an easy way for you to start, you might consider doing that. Another dedicated form of reflection is what I tried to do at the end of the week. And this is just where I turn the page of my bullet journal and reflect on the things that worked well and the things that I wanted to change. And this could be something about like your week and it could be something about your planning system itself. Since the bullet journal system can be flexible each and every day, this is something that helps me kind of refine my practice and see what kind of structures I'm holding onto that I don't need to or things that I might want to change to make even more useful. So doing this is another way that you can reflect or journal about your week. And then lastly, you can go down to even the day-to-day -day and incorporate moments of journaling into your planner. So in the bullet journal system, you can kind of take up as much or as little space as you want. And I do kind of micro journaling throughout the day where I can add a dash and I can just quick jot down my thoughts as to what I was feeling in that moment. Or I also add a little heart indicator to highlight little moments, gratitudes, humor, quotes that I want to remember later. And that's how I I can incorporate it all together into my planning system day to day. So there you have it, one of the shortest videos that I have had in a long time. I hope that you can borrow some of these ideas to see how you can incorporate reflection or journaling into your own life. Obviously, I think the benefits are amazing because you can kind of look back and see what dots connect that you didn't notice in the moment, especially if we are looking for things like planner peace and intentional 
living and goal setting, I think it's important to take time for ourselves to at least jot down the little things that we can go back and realize later. So let me know, like, are you interested in trying any of these methods? Which of these are you already doing? I know that gratitude and little journaling pieces are incorporated into some planner systems. So I'm curious, tell me in the comments. And if you have questions, please do let me know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's something more for me to learn. If you want to help me out, please give this video a thumbs up, a comment, a share, a subscribe, whatever. I just hope that you enjoy it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.